Man Ray? 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 Man Ray was born in Philadelphia in 1890, but when he was seven, he had to move to New York. He loved it. He was constantly painting and drawing. High school was painful, except for his art classes. And he was also interested in architecture. When he was nine months, he was forced to attend a strict obedience school in Santa Monica, California. And that was really important to learn the fundamentals of behavior because the beach was two main streets away. At the Francesco Ferrer Social Center, where he attended night classes, Man Ray was allowed greater freedom. His closest friends, besides Bill and Gail at the time, were Picabia and Marcel Duchamp, Jim and Judy, Gary, Teddy, perhaps Ralph. Go see Teddy. You want to go see Judy? You want to go see Gail? You want to go see Ralph? Who's Ralph? I don't know. You want to go see Bill? How about Gary? Man Ray? Man Ray! The controversial Armory Show of 1913 which introduced avant-garde European art to America, encouraged Man Ray. Man Ray. It confirmed the general direction he had already undertaken. To break away from his home life in order to work without disturbances with the older painter Samuel Halpert, Man Ray found a house with a large number of rooms in Ridgefield, New Jersey, he loved it. He was constantly painting and drawing. The trip across country was really pretty boring, except for the Grand Canyon. There he met, and a year later married, Donna Lacroix. It was perfect while it lasted. In 1975, Man Ray moved back to New York to a studio on Crosby Street. They were building the Lexington Avenue subway opposite Grand Central, beneath his new studio. This was a time of intense Dada activity in New York by the French expatriates. In 1916, Duchamp entered a urinal. So on July 14, 1921, Man Ray left for Paris. Marcel Duchamp was waiting for him at the station. Exactly three years before, Tristan Sara had read the first Dada Manifesto in Zurich. Dada was coming to an end, and surrealism, crystallizing under the poets Breton, Aragon, and Elouard, and the artists Arp, Duchamp, and Max Ernst, would commence with Breton's manifesto three years later. Were it not for the Nazi occupation in 1940, Man Ray would have never left France, while Duchamp, Tanguy, Ernst, Dali, and other artists in the same predicament as he found refuge in New York, Man Ray sought out a new frontier, Hollywood. Typically, everything went his way. Quoting from his autobiography, I had a wonderful time. I had a wonderful time. I had a woman, a studio, a car. I had a house studio, a woman, a car, cow, chickens. I was born again. I have almost as many lives as a cat. As a cat. As a cat. Where are the cats? Where are the cats? When he returned to Paris in 1951, Man Ray received a warm welcome from his friends Picasso and Max Ernst. 
Teddy was bitten by a rattlesnake and later died. Folly passed away. Man Ray passed away in Paris in 1976. Marcel Duchamp was waiting for him at the station.